G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel, continuing my series looking at one respective draftee at a time from this upcoming 2023 AFL draft. Obviously, you've seen I've done Clay Hall, Colby McKercher, Daniel Curtin. Now we're going to move a little bit away from the top end. I want to do a mixed bag of potential draftees. We're going to talk about Charlie Edwards today, who is a tallish 191 centimeter midfielder from the Sandringham Dragons in Victoria and a very smooth moving classy player who is starting to bolt up the rankings based on a pretty good end to the season. But also he's like this quite tall, athletic, classy midfielder and we are looking at a draft that is kind of bereft of pure midfielders. You know, I've done Colby McKercher at the top end. Um, Riley Sanders is probably a, a genuine pure midfielder. You could kind of say Harley Reid probably will be a midfielder. So even if you include him though, there's a lot of utility types and key position players as well. Um, so Edwards in the top 25 is probably like the fourth or fifth midfielder picked. In terms of his range, you know, he could be late first round, early second round. I can't really see him going all the way to 30, but it is quite possible. As an Eagles fan, I hope that's true because we're going to have our second can pick around 29. But I do like the look of this fella. And in today's video, we're going to watch his highlights. Thank you to the Footy Stuff YouTube channel, which I've shouted out a number of times. We're going to watch a couple of his games from the Coates Talent League finals, finals week two and three, uh, where Footy Stuff has kindly put together a compilation of his possessions. So we're going to watch it like we've done in the previous videos, and we're going to have a look at what we see. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, that would be much appreciated, trying to get to 24K by the end of the draft. That's a nice little goal that I've set, and uh, we're making pretty good speed, but we could get there a little faster, thanks to you. But also, if you're enjoying this series and you want to see a particular player analyzed in this draft, Draft, um, let me know in the comments section. That would be great. Again, ideally, it's nice if they've got some highlights on YouTube that helps make the video go a little longer, I guess. But let me know who in the comments you want to see, and I will potentially make a video on it. Okay, so here we are. He is number 28. As you can see on the bottom right, he gets 22 possessions in this game, five tackles, four clearances. So he's uh, he started at the center square there. He, he was previously a halfback flanker, has now played a bit more in the midfield. As we see, a very nice burst of speed there and a good, accurate kick inside 50 to, to a 40 forward target. So, so far, we, we're getting a feel for his class. Where is he here? Oop, takes the extra second, releases the handball. That was nicely done by Edwards. Again, starting in the center. Oh, wow, that was a nice clearance. Look at that pace. So, this is what we're talking about. Players with genuine burst speed. He kicks it right to the goal line, to be fair. That might have sailed through had there been no players on the line there. I like this kid already. That is a fast start to this video. Gets an intercepted handball. And it still makes its way through and somebody kicks a goal. Sandringham was well with the Premiers, if I'm not mistaken, in this league as well. Nice handball to advantage of the running player. So it was pretty fast hands there. We're seeing some inside craft. Gathers the ball cleanly. That's a nice handball. That was on his left. I presume he's right-handed. He's right-footed. So that was a nice left-handed handball. So that's a good trait for an inside mid. Oh, does he kick it? Opposite foot. He does kick it. That was nice. Nice poise there. Just sidesteps a player. I'm not sure if these are just highlights or if he's just nailed every possession so far. I guess we'll see. Doesn't quite stick the tackle there, but that's all right. Small sample size. Doesn't quite get clean hands off there, but he does follow up. So his uh, work rate's good. You can see him running to receive. I'm not sure if the handball was meant for him. It's come back. That was a, a not a great handball. That was to the foot of his teammate there. But he's involved like four times in this passage and ends it with a tackle. Nicely done, Charlie Edwards. Here he is again. Sort of dragged as he kicked it. Smothered, not really much of a possession there. So again, yeah, this isn't just highlights, clearly. Good vision there to spot up number three, who misses, but that was fairly decent. Here's the ball carrier now. Again, sidestep, so he's evasive. How's that kick? So again, was an uncontested kick, but it was nice penetration. Good technique. Runs to receive. That is technically his clearance. Actually, I don't know if that will count as effective. It has to be effective to count as a clearance. But again, solid work right there. It probably should have been effective. I think the guy dropped it, to be fair. 
Nice. So again, a bit of balance between inside and out we're seeing from this guy. That's not him who kicked it. But he's uh, he's winning plenty of the footy at the ball drop. Oh, is that him? Okay, overhead mark. That's good. He is tall. He's 191 centimeters. That makes him a very above average size midfielder. In fact, he's the same height as Jack Darling. Jack Darling's really short for a key forward. Where is he here? Okay, so he is the spare man. He's got a man over the top. Decides not to opt for it. It's a nice kick inside 50. A little bit brave, but it was accurate. It was a good enough kick to pull that off. So he backed himself in. You can only really give him credit for that. It's a long kick. And a great decision and great accuracy. Again, the player dropped it, but if he'd marked it, that would have looked even better. Nice. Keeps the ball in front of him. Gets a clean handball off. So... Again, like, I don't think... I think this video would include any clangers, but so far he's just making the most of every possession. That is not him kicking inside 50. This is him again. Oh, drop one he probably should have taken. So he's playing a bit as a forward target, at least on two occasions in this video. Gets the handball off. Okay, so what we saw there, we, we saw a player that kind of makes all of his possessions count. He's got nice evasiveness. Nothing too extreme. He's not like a highlight reel, but... He'll uh, make, like I said, every possession count. His kicks are accurate. His decisions seem good, and his hands seem pretty clean. There was one or two bad handballs, but there was a nice one on his left. So I see traits there. One thing we'll bear in mind, though, is compared to the other prospects that we've watched, one, one thing I'll say bear in mind, though, is um, compared to the other prospects we've watched, we are seeing him in at a lower level here. This is the Coates Talent League, so it's just the under-18s in Victoria. A little bit different. If he's doing this sort of thing against the, you know, the uh, under-18s kids in the national championships, or if he's doing this at VFL level, like we've seen with um, Colby McKercher so far, even Clay Hall played against men, Daniel Curtin played against men. So we are seeing him play at a lower level, but so far, so good. Let's watch the second video. Just wraps him up in a tackle there. In this game, he gets 21 touches, five tackles, five inside 50s. So yeah, again, around the 20s mark, he's not massively high volume, gets a nice handball clearance out there. Not, not high volume, but like I said, every possession he gets is very intentional and generally gets his team in a better position. He's number 28 there. He's sitting at the, at the side of the contest. There we go. Clean hands again, nice. Oh, it's a scrubber kick to somebody. No, that's him who's gathered the ball. Again, clean hands again. So, you know, compared to the Clay Hall example, he's not a true, like, gr inside grunty midfielder. He's a bit more of a first receive uh, player because he can do stuff like that. Not a great handball there, but the, the burst pace and the class is the reason he's more of a first receive midfielder. Um, so, yeah, as opposed to, like, a real clearance machine. Here he is again. Again, avoids the tackle. It looks like a left-handed handball. Finds a target, nothing really comes of it. That's him there with the ball now. Kick inside 50 has generally been pretty good. It's a penetrating one. It oh, lands in the goal square untouched, like the Veronica's. Here he is on the back of the contest there. Penetrating kick inside 50, well intercepted, good mark. Tackle started unconvincing, but he's just pinned the arm there. So nice tackling technique. He wrapped him up. Oh, takes that extra second, almost gets pinned. But, you know, so far so good. He takes on the tackler, that's for sure. Oh, meant to, was going to play on, change his mind, get the handball off. Nice one-touch player. It was a nice little nifty handball, but again, just slightly not to the advantage. Oh, wow, look at that. That is Charlie Edwards with a nice acceleration there. The kick, he was at full pelt. He actually hit the ball pretty well. It was just not to the advantage of the player. When I say he hit the ball pretty well, like it traveled flat through the air, very markable as opposed to a flower bag because he's at full speed. He hit the ball fine. It was just not accurate. Oh, that's a good rundown chase tackle. Well done, Charlie Edwards. Good work right there. And it turns into a scoring opportunity for his team. So his first instinct is to sort of just back off and get the handball receive generally. Like, he's, he does win his own footy and, you know, tackles. He's inside enough. There's, there's contested work in there. But because he's got the class, he'll run to receive. And he's the sort of player you want to run and receive, even though that was smothered. Again, see the acceleration. He's just sprinting past the ball carrier. Gets that possession. Has a bounce. Nice handball. 
And again, his team will line up for a scoring opportunity. Clean hands. So again, just every possession for the most part, you know, we've seen a, a smother and, and stuff like that, but you know, it, it's not all of it has hurt factor. Here we go. He's dangerous from here, surely. Kick this. Oh, it looked like it missed. No, it has. It's scored. Oh, does well to uh, grab that, sort of. Wasn't too hard, but it was a bit of a miscued kick. Here he is. Uh, no, that's not him. This will be him receiving, surely. No, that's him there. Oh, <laughs> does the old Colby McKercher slide sideways and fall over? Colby McKercher did that once in a video. He doesn't do it all the time. Here he is. Dangerous from this range again. Don't think he kicks this one. Not a great hit off the boot. In fact, it's gone out on the fall, so that's a shank. Should have probably made that count, to be fair. Yeah, so a nice little clearance there to finish the video. Okay, there we go. So what do we think of Charlie Edwards, guys? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Like I said, I feel like he's a nice balanced midfielder. Not a pure inside grunt type, but certainly one of those players that you can chuck in the middle, uh, rely on him to accumulate tackles and clearances, but also he's got that acceleration. His skills are good both by hand and foot. Nicely balanced. Maybe his production, I don't know exactly what his averages are, but in the two games we've seen so far, just in the early 20s, you know, if he's if he's putting in the work rate to get 28, 29 possessions a game, you'd see him a little bit higher. But again, he is still learning how to be a midfielder, having started his, uh, I don't know if you want to call it career, but certainly he started uh, as a halfback flanker and now transitioned into the midfield. So there's upside there. So I really like the look of Charlie Edwards. Uh, again, I, I think on talent, probably top 20 at this stage. Could he go in the early 20s? Yeah, quite possibly. I'll be surprised if he's there in the late 20s, but there's still some water to go under the bridge. So as I said, guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know anyone else you want me to cover in this particular series and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.